Start protecting yourself on the web at nordvpn.com slash nerdalert or use code nerdalert, one word, and save 77%. If the last few weeks have taught us anything, Facebook, third-party apps, and online advertisers know us too well. Even if you didn't opt in or give your consent, these companies and more like them may know all about what you do on the internet and profit off it. And that isn't right. I've talked a lot on NerdAlert about how important your data privacy is. Your digital identity is not for anyone to take and sell and use to their own ends. It's yours. It's one thing to be attacked by hackers, but it's another to be unknowingly sold and manipulated online. On the other hand, sometimes it's hard to resist the call of free Wi-Fi. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where you can't. That's why I'm very excited to team up with NordVPN with a massive 77% discount for the Nerd Alert audience. Start protecting yourself on the web now at nordvpn.com slash nerdalert or use code nerdalert. Archaeologists are mad at Megan Fox, and that is not a sentence I ever thought I would have to say. Uh, but it's Megan Fox. It's not just Transformers anymore. <laughs> Scientists. For a specific reason related to archaeology, <laughs> um, and nothing to do with the AllSpark. So <laughs> Megan, Megan Fox has a new show coming out on the Travel Channel. It's called Mysteries and Myths with Megan Fox, in which she, uh, over four episodes, four hour-long episodes, talks about. Um, different things that have occurred in history and mm -hmm. the history of archaeology in specific and takes a different view to it. Now, I try not to be judgmental about people's beliefs or, you know, if they don't match up with my sure. own. I mean, I don't believe in ghosts, but sure, ghost shows, whatever. As long as they're mm -hmm. not irresponsible, I do think this may be a little irresponsible and this leads to uh, something Megan herself has said about the show. History only gives us a one-sided view of the truth. I haven't spent my entire life building a career in academia, so I don't have to worry about my reputation or being rebu rebuked by my colleagues, which allows me to push back on the status quo. So much of our history needs to be re-examined. Okay, this sounds a lot like someone Let's just say another example of someone with no experience trying to say that's a great thing when running into a situation, uh, potentially well, first irresponsibly. Of all, let's, let's give her credit for wanting to do a show that is actually about something instead of like, you know, we could have seen the reality show of Megan Fox, which I think is something that none of us wants to see. So, so I will give credit to Megan Fox for wanting to create a, a show of this. Um, it's not bad to question things. Exactly. It and, isn't. And, and there are many aspects of history that, that should be examined more. But yeah, it's the way that she is doing this. But the way this. it's phrased is yeah. as if, I mean, this and other supporting materials from the show seem to indicate that archaeologists are keeping secrets from the world and are they're, they're these gatekeepers. And some archaeologists have an issue with this, including David S. Anderson. To me, this clearly shows she has embraced the idea that professional archaeologists are too narrow-minded to see the truth. It is a touch offensive to the profession, but sadly, it is also a vast misrepresentation of the profession. New ideas are constantly being introduced and debated. The field is very active and flexible. The characterizations of it as narrow narrow-minded and clearly pejorative views that originate outside of the field by those who have a little familiar have little familiarity with what goes on inside of archaeology. It is absolutely true that in the past archaeological research and historical narratives have been manipulated for nationalist agendas and worse as a field Archaeology has actively worked to correct those manipulations. That doesn't mean all of the interpretations today are perfect, but it does mean they're getting better bit by bit. So what he's saying is this is an evolving science. It's not perfect. Mm -hmm. Nothing is. Uh, but this is kind of a dangerous way of examining uh, academia and mm -hmm. data that we've collected over the years. It's just... I mean, we've seen this before in shows like Ancient Aliens, which uh, Megan Fox has said she's a fan of, in which, you know, the idea is people couldn't have built the pyramids or other natural wonders, mm -hmm. so it must have been aliens. I mean, I do think it's a little damaging at some point. Sometimes sure. archaeologists characterize it as borderline racist um, in those descriptions. I, I just think to take this attitude that the, the collected knowledge that we already have is somehow a lie and you only need an outsider archaeologist to come in and break the truth, it's kind of offensive to the field in general or the idea that humans are getting better and evolving and smarter with time and age. I don't know. Maybe you feel differently. <laughs> if you do, please let us know on Twitter and Facebook.